Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck today for a short video about a hidden technique in New World at Eternum. So subscribe, like and comment if you want more tips like that. I realize that most of my videos that I put out recently are long because it's some long guide and there's some tips that are into it that you, you're sometimes not going to see because they are like into a long video and you don't want to watch the whole thing. So uh, I, I quit the game and I come back so I forget a couple things and when I came back uh, you see there's always a lack of healer and tank and it's the most important role and this is why I started for those builds. So sorry for the DPS that I was not there for you but now Dolbeck is there for you he's gonna bring you the fucking best alright. So right now uh, during a moment uh, I was not realizing that the finisher exists for some reason. Like, I quit during three months, I came back and I forget some shit. It seems like the finisher is existing, everyone. Hello, hello, there's a, a finisher existing and there's some YouTuber out there that's going to put some spear and hatchet build or like whatever that is not with the finisher. But the reality is you have seven DPS in your group and almost your 7 DPS can run the finisher. The only one that is not going to run the finisher is the Great Sword user. Because the Great Sword user uses Serenity. And Serenity is an artifact that you cannot use another artifact with it. In this video, I was using the Blunderbuss artifact that made me do 8% more DPS on the mob that have a disease. So it's not too bad, but right now I am trying to create a build with a blunderbuss that's going to be like keen, vicious, flame attunement, and I'm going to have rapiers as a secondary instead of the void gauntlet only for the 15% more DPS. And I'm 99% sure that it's going to do more DPS than my artifact blunderbuss that I'm using right now. So when you look at this, you have a spear, why are you using another weapon than the finisher? The finisher is giving you 15% more DPS on both weapons. So when you got a mob that is bleeding, the, the bleed, there's the great sword that apply the bleed, there's the, the spear user that apply the bleed, uh, there's some bleed from like uh, Almost everywhere, you almost always have a rapier only user. But right now, while I'm speaking about the people with the finisher are not going to use it. You're going to have one or two real rapier user that is going to be main in your group. But for the rest, you're going to use another weapon as main and they're not even going to pull out their finisher. They're just going to hit with their spear non-stop or they're going to use a musket non-stop or a bow non-stop or a fire staff non-stop. You can go fire staff blunderbuss too. This one is pretty good because our weak to blunderbuss and the blunderbuss uh, is doing like a, some extra damage on the target that have disease. So the blunderbuss is not too bad. But it's more like if you are the second uh, fire staff into the group, if you are the main fire staff into the group, uh, if there's only one fire staff, if you really want to optimize your DPS, you better go with the rapier and just use your fire staff and you pull the rapier out when you're in trouble. You're going to put evade, repost, and fleshy, and you're not going to please you're not gonna dps with the rapier even if it's fun even if it feels good even if you feel like you do the dps you're not doing dps all right so you have a spear you have a split strength and dex you're gonna hit with your spear you're not gonna hit with your rapier because you have strength and dex and no intel and the rapier is made for intel and dex the only one that can hit with the rapier is I guess the musket user, but during that time that you're there hitting with the rapier, you're not shooting with your musket. So you almost better to just stay there and shoot with your musket, bro. So yeah, I've seen a lot of video on internet. The dude is using like a SNS and spear. The dude is using a hatchet and spear. Uh, like, bro, it just made no sense to me. You can have a great sword with a spear. All right, this one is fine. You can have a great sword maybe with the hatchet. I don't like it because I think the spear is just better, but... I mean, if you already have some spear in your group, why would you use a spear? Like, you can use a hatchet just to survive. 
and only do great sword DPS. But you know, the spear is gonna save your life many times if you are a great sword spear, you're gonna be able to put out the spear and keep doing DPS. But I guess you know what? The ash chat is gonna save your life. So great sword ash chat is fine, great sword spirit is fine, but all the other be are gonna use a finisher with it. The finisher is a rapier artifact. And you're gonna drop it on the finisher farm. And I guess everyone is probably doing it now since it's the start of the new expansion. So you better do it now before people don't do it because the finisher farm is really hard and boring to do. And now you have seven DPS in your group and six or five of them need a finisher. So I think you're gonna see some people who are gonna do it. And you know what? It's a 15% more DPS for everyone. So yeah, this is it for this video. This is like the short and new version of my video. I've, I've made some long and sometimes I'm gonna put out some small like this that just gonna have some specific tips about what we really need to change in the community to make red better because you know what i'm there for you guys to make the red better and if i'm wrong about my information tell me into the comment section you're gonna make the community better and i'm gonna make my video better too so thanks a lot for supporting tell someone you love them i wish you a good day peace out